Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you and all. Many a times there is often a question, what are your SMART goals or how are your goals at all or do you have an objective in life at all? So one thing that makes a life, a meaningful life is having an objective. But an objective without any direction, without any logic, without any plan is a meaningless thing. So a goal needs to be a SMART goal. And if you all are thinking of your career and to have a goal, how do we start it? Here is what we are going to lay down the entire, entire process, approach of how to chart a SMART goal. So here we begin. How to write a SMART goal with, of course, examples. When setting out to accomplish something, it's effective to set a goal to help you visualize and actualize your success. Using the SMART goal method allows you to take specific steps that quantify your progress to your goal. In this particular shoot, we will learn how to set achievable and measurable goals using the SMART goal strategy. So what are SMART goals? SMART is an acronym used to describe the process of setting goals. The acronym stands for the words specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. That's what SMART is, which are essential traits of setting objectives. The SMART method provides a way to measure your progress and be accountable for your success. Setting SMART goals allow you to realistically evaluate what you are trying to achieve by assessing what actions to take to reach your goals. For example, you might set a goal to get better maybe at reading, writing, speaking, more so speaking and listening maybe because if you want to master any language all, all you require is mastering these four skills which are the sub skills of a major communication skills. So if you want to get better at maybe speaking or a simple typing, many of us we type a lot on our keypads be it your laptop or PCs or even our smartphones but we have a lot of typo errors. So if you want to really you know, get better at typing without errors, then you need to put some effort. However, upon evaluating this goal using the SMART method of getting better at typing, you see that your goal is quite vague. By restarting your goal in quantifiable terms as be able to type more words per minute, you have a SMART goal. That can be obtained. The characteristics of this goal can be further detailed to reflect the remaining traits of the SMART goal process. What is actually that SMART? Let's try and understand and define each. S stands for specific. Make your goal specific and narrow for more effective planning. You need to go to that deep, you know, micro level. M in SMART denotes measurable. Define what evidence will prove your making progress and reevaluate when necessary. SMA, A stands for attainable. And to define attainable, make sure you can reasonably accomplish your goal within a certain time frame. R stands for relevant. Your goals should align with your values and long-term objectives. And of course, T, T is time-based. Set a realistic, ambitious, end date for task prioritization and motivation. How to set SMART goals? When you decide to set a goal for yourself, consider following the SMART steps to help you achieve your objectives. Make your goal specific, make your goal measurable, your goal should be achievable, it should be relevant and you should create a time bound schedule to it so that everything comes as full circle. Make your goal specific. What do you mean by this? The first step in creating an attainable goal is to get specific with how you describe it. Consider it in quantifiable terms and determine what actions you need to get there. The example of our SMART goal would be, for specific would be, I want to get better at writing or typing. And the specific criteria would be, I want to increase my typing speed. This example goal takes a broad statement that could present different approaches and actions. 
like learning the proper typing techniques or not having to look at the keyboard while typing and makes it more specific by evaluating which aspect of typing can be set as a goal. This example can then be further evaluated to check that it fits the remaining criteria of a smart goal. And what is the next criteria? Make your goal measurable. After setting your specific goal, it is time to evaluate how you will take action to measure it. This step in the SMART process prompts you to apply methods of measuring your progress towards achieving your goal. Being measurable also takes into account any actions you would implement to help you further your progress toward your goal. For instance, this may take the form of tracking the time it takes you to complete an action or meet a milestone. Now, how I can explain with the example is with measurable, I will increase my typing speed and how you are measuring it. I would like to increase my typing speed from 50 words per minute to 65 words per minute and I can measure my progress by taking time test that shows the increase in my typing speed. Makes sense. Number three, in SMART, the most important is achievable. After writing a specific goal and evaluating how you will measure it, consider if your set objective is achievable. Considering how long it will take, potential obstacles and measurement methods will all help you determine the realistic odds of achieving your set goal. The more realistic and achievable the goal, the more likely you will be to keep working towards it. Consider the following example that illustrates a before and after effect when applying the achievable criteria to your goal. So example of achievable criteria is I will increase my typing speed of 50 words per minute to 100 words per minute and achievable criteria would be I would like to increase typing speed of 50 words per minute to 65 words per minute and I can achieve this goal by making small increases in my typing speed each week. So this aspect of smart strategy also relates to your goal being measurable. With a specific measurable goal, it is more likely to be achievable because it can allow you to see exactly how you will achieve your progress as you work towards the goal. While the example goal of reaching 100 words per minute could be achievable, when related to the rest of the SMART criteria, it could be that this goal will not be achievable in the time frame you scheduled or that it will require more resources to get there. Number four, make sure it is relevant. So out of the SMART, we have come to M and now it is the turn of R. Relevant. When a goal is relevant, it relates directly to a skill or professional development strategy that you want to improve. For instance, if you want to receive a high mark on your next employee evaluation, it would make sense to set a goal to help you improve your skills and workflow to progress to that particular goal. Additionally, any milestones you set or actions you take to achieve your goal should directly influence your progress. The example now I'm quoting is for it's a relevant trait when you apply it. Now, example goal for relevant criteria, I would like to increase my typing speed. So I will set aside 15 minutes per day to organize my workspace. Example goal after relevant criteria, I would like to increase my typing speed from 50 words per minute to 65 words per minute. So I will set aside 15 minutes every day to practice my typing and take time speed tests. Now this example highlights a relevant action that can be taken to help progress towards achieving the goal. Your goal and measurable action should be all coherently related. Now the last part of SMART is the time bound, T for time bound schedule. Time bound refers to the timeline you set for working toward your goals as well as how long it will take you to meet milestones and achieve your final results. Consider if your goal is a short-term or a long-term goal. From there, you can determine a timeline and set a schedule for yourself to meet deadlines and get to your objective. Your timeline should also be realistic and allow you plenty of opportunities to make 
adjustments to your goal regarding its relevance, specificity and attainability. Consider the final step in the SMART process in the following example. How? Example goal before time bound criteria. I will increase my typing speed of 50 words per minute to 65 words per minute by setting aside 15 minutes every day to practice speed typing and take time tests. Example goal after time bound criteria will be I will increase my typing speed of 50 words per minute to 65 words per minute within 3 months. I will set aside 15 minutes each day to practice at speed and take time tests weekly to measure my progress. Now this goal now fits all the criteria of SMART goal because it shows how specific the objective is, outlines a way to measure progress, is achievable and relevant to the desired skill development and sets up a timeline for each milestone and overall completion of the goal. Now I'm sure if your SMART goal is identified, you can do the similar exercise with your reading, writing, listening and speaking all four skills in case if you want to master spoken English as your smart objective. I'm very sure many, many students have this problem. They do not have a problem of communication, but they certainly have a problem of spoken English. Try and do it at taking help of whatever I have given you as an example. Best wishes. Thank you.